Alright guys, so I'm just gonna reply to all these questions I got left. Um, we'll start with um, Joshua Skates. Why does Gerg has a huge kiss on his neck? Um, that day, my girlfriend just gave me a kiss on my neck and she had just put on lipstick. And I was like, fuck it, I look sexy. And then, uh, Jared Quillen, what's the best part of skating for you? Honestly, the best part of skating is just like cruising like in the streets with the homies. Like not even really doing tricks or anything, just like literally just pushing on the skateboard, mobbing through all the streets, like doing little like freaking Chinese nollies and shit, like on the little cracks and just just cruising. And so, um, yeah. <laughs> that stupid dog, stupid dog. Okay, uh, cruise. A Cito? Is that a tattoo on Greg's neck? Nope, that was my girlfriend's lips. Nick Vibes, Greg, what is your ultimate goal in life? My ultimate goal in life is to just encourage people to just do them. Because there's nobody like you. Arlo Tropic, Jeffrey, oh wait, no, this isn't a question. Um, Anthony Narvo, is Greg still sponsored? Yes, I'm sponsored by Scoo Um, they be sending me boards, beanies, um, shirts, everything. Good looking now, Andrew. Are you a virgin? Um, from It's Me, um, I'm not a virgin. I have got my pee pee wet. Yep. Booty or titties? Titties. Greg, what are your future goals? Uh, I'll give you three. Going pro, traveling the world, and talk about God to people. Why was she complaining? Talking about the girl, probably, yeah. at the end. Because, you know, I was just trying to skate and my sexiness just like caught her eye and she was just so upset on how I made her feel because she had a kid and like, yeah. Greg, what goes through your head when you go for big tricks? Basically, when I'm like, Jumping off the stair set, but that's what I like. I guess my definition would be a big trick is just jumping off of like big shit. And uh, you can't really have much going through your head. You kind of just have to like self consciously just lock everything out, especially negative stuff. Because there is times where I have caught myself in the middle of trying to trick, and I'm thinking about how like I sharded my pants when I was like eight or nine years old, and like. That's just negative and it just kind of like messes the moment up. So you just have to just fully just like breathe and just block everything out and focus on what you're doing. Um, that was from Anthony Vasquez. Another one, Greg, what's the big thing? What's the biggest thing you ever accomplished for skating? Getting sponsored at this point because that was my goal. That, that's all I really wanted because I, I couldn't afford skateboards like how I wanted to. And I would just like scrounge up change and like turn in cans and just ask homies for skateboards. And I was just like, I gotta skate. From a one the 25, one the 25, Greg, what's your tip to learning tricks? I can't commit even though I want to. Um, Honestly guys, my tip to learning tricks is watching Mowgli's tip tricks, but the ones that he doesn't have, I just have to, you know, just somewhat just trial and error and error. Failure is fertilizer to your success. Because without failure, you wouldn't know how it feels to fail, and so once you succeed, you have basically came all this way 
Well, it doesn't necessarily happen. No, it does not happen like that. Like Jim Carrey would take him for example. He started out young, trying to do comedy shows, whatnot, and he failed. Failed lots and lots and lots of times. But look at where he's at now. He's big. He's chilling. He, you don't got to worry about nothing. Failure is fertilizer to your success. So don't be afraid to fail. Greg, how do I last longer than two minutes and six seconds? From Larry Crumbs. Larry Crumbs, I don't know if you're talking about being deep in that, but bro, basically what you just gotta do is just ease things off your, off your mind. Don't think about you not lasting, if that's like where I'm on the right basis. And then uh, Lorna Kiesling, Vans, DC, Nike, SB, Skate, Vans, all day, for sure. Greg, what made you start skating? My grandma came home with the skateboard that she said she found in a gutter. But my grandma always came home with random stuff saying that she found it in a gutter. So I don't know if that's necessarily true. But um, she was just like here and I was just like, like I didn't know what to do with it. My first trick was the one of the nollies, the Chinese nollies, where you like hit your board, your wheels on the on the crack, and I felt the pop, and I was just like, whoa, that was really cool. And then so I just started like, I fell in love with skateboarding at that moment. Greg, are you a virgin? I already answered that one. Uh, Greg, if you are not a virgin, when did you lose it? I lost it when I was 16. Greg, what's your favorite trick and food? Burial flip and. Oh my goodness, so much favorite foods. Oh, tacos. Yo, Greg, what's the kissing thing on your neck? My girlfriend's lips. Also, happy that dude landed that Ollie. Uh, um, I don't know if that's Drew Harrow. So, he was like, bro, you seem like a chill dude. We should meet up and skate someday. I seen that you've been to the Larry Skate Park in Orange Cove too. I live close to them and I only live about an hour away from Bakersfield. We should make it happen if you have the time. Bro, I'm all for it. Like, let's get it, dude. Just uh, hit me up on Instagram, underscore dot Oreo. Most people have it posted. And just uh, just hit, hit me up, bro. Anybody wants to skate, just hit me up. Greg Steve uh, is great dropping any other parts then why not yup I got a Baco style part coming out that I'm working with on the homie that I'm working with the homie Brad and he's uh, f filming that and so uh, it just kind of varies whenever I go film with Brad some clips go to him and then whenever I film with Moby then they go to why not Greg do you have a job and what is it yes I'm a dishwasher at an Italian restaurant um, super chill going there like just wash dishes, get some free pizza, uh, get drinks, like just fountain drinks and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. When did you start skating? Who inspired you? I started skating at about, um, I first stepped on the board at about nine, ten years old. I just like played around with it, didn't really get nowhere, like didn't really like, think anything could really happen with it and it wasn't until I moved to Bakersfield two years ago to where I started taking it seriously and this is where I'm at now. Who inspired you? I would say basically my grandma because she brought home my grandma Caroline. She brought home the uh, skateboard for me. Uh, stretching is key by Capshe Skulls. Yes, very much a key. Greg, have you ever been pregnant? And also, don't be pregnant, please. Can I have a shout out to Mean Blogger? Well, Mean Blogger, um, I actually have been pregnant. Um, I was a transvestite once before. Oh no, I am now. And so, that was my past life. Um, yeah. Greg, have you ever been arrested? Tell the story. Oh my goodness, here we go. Here we go, dude. All right. Well, East High, seven stair. I was feeling the tray flip that day. Went with the homie Mondo and was just like, bro, I got this. Let's go. Showed up. Didn't even get one try 
security guard who I knew from school but was not wearing a security outfit or anything was at the school because they were having a tennis game or something and then he was just like bro you can't scam like just let me get one try please 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 no I didn't say please like that but I was just like just let me get one try please and then he was just like nah and so I tried to go around him grabbed me dip me on the floor hit my head on the ground got a little like lightheaded type deal and he was just holding my hand like this just ah oh yeah <laughs> sorry baby and so um from there, my homie Mondo came over, was about to like hit, hit him, and he got up, and he was like, what the F you gonna do, pussy? And so that was instant, and with his hands up, grown ass man, Jason, if you're watching this, bro, you are a little female, dude. I'm being so serious, like, you really put me at a difficult position in my life, all because you wanted to snitch and lie and sing that we were trying to jump you. You, I'm not gonna say it, but, it rhymes with snitch, and so, yeah. But I thank you, bro, because you really opened up my eyes to a lot of new things, but at the same time, you really got, you really hurt a lot of feelings, dude, all because you want to lie? Lying is not good, Jason. I, I wish I knew your last name, because I'd really tell it right now, but I don't know your last name. He is a security guard at East High, and he's not a cool person. He followed a little kid, or, or a high schooler, down into the East High basement, and did who knows what I didn't really hear the full story but Jason peace to you bro uh, oh yeah so the, anyways I got locked up for two weeks wasn't that long but in there oh my gosh it felt like forever uh, I can't lie I cried cuz I was just like I was hurt I was like dang it skateboarding been taken away from me at the same time, I wasn't doing so good, so it was kind of like an eye-opener, and that's where I found Jesus, so that's why I really thank you, Jason, but at the same time, you're still a snitch. And so, I had a little ledge like this that I was sleeping on. It was it was concrete, and, and I had a mat just like this. It's crazy. This is exactly what, what it was. I would pick my mat up like this, and just do stalls. Five of them. And just do that, because like I was just so freaking wanting to, to skate. And so... Uh, Got out two weeks later and just was like, dang, I want some Taco Bell. I want to go get some Taco Bell. Um, what's up with the lips on your neck? Good style, Griggs. Thanks. Uh, Chris Henriquez. The lips, my girl gave, gave them to me. Uh, good style, Greg. Thank you for that. I really do. I, for a long time, I didn't like my style, but like, telling you support is where it's at and all you guys have been supporting me and telling me that I got a cool style so like you guys kind of are the encouragers for like my skateboarding because like I don't just do this for myself you guys like I also do this for you I do this for school whip I do this for Jesus Christ because that's where everything comes from that's where we're all made from and a lot of people may not believe that but we that's why we have our own will and our own mind to believe what we want blasphemy is one of the most biggest sins. Look up that word. It'll probably change something. Greg, are you sponsored by any companies? I'm sponsored by Scoo Whip. And this is a boy sitting across from Manuel and Ivan, but I'm just scared to say hi. What the heck? Monstator? I wonder if that was like... Jeffy? Maybe? I don't know. Greg, what would you be doing if you weren't skateboard? I was just talking to my dad about this. I'd be doing a lot. I'd be a truck driver. I'm being so serious. Like, I, I, I would literally love to just drive big old giant trucks, just travel across the whole world, delivering people's like, freaking, freaking just whatever, you know, Xboxes and freaking like food, just, just cause like, I like to drive, and like, I get to see a lot of new stuff I work to go, but uh, like, cause I, I can do a lot of other stuff like, like, play the guitar and still skate. I could do a lot of other stuff and still skate, but if you were driving, if you were truck driving, you wouldn't necessarily get to skate like how you would if you were still like a guitar player or like um, a graphic designer. I'm gonna be a graphic de designer as well. I got some stuff in the works, guys. Not gonna really say too much, but just know that I got some stuff coming out. And uh, I'd also be a mechanic. I can still do that, but like, I wouldn't want to like work at a, at a shop or like because like it would take up a lot of time for skateboarding. That's where my main time is going to, and uh, that's my priority is skateboarding. That, that was the last question right there. But um, 
yeah guys basically all I gotta say is just be who you can be because no one else can be you and if someone else tries to be you then that's fake and fake isn't real it's all about being real keeping it a hundred and just going through life day to day and not really trying to worry about the future because like worrying puts stress and stress hurts the mind which uses up energy that you can use towards other stuff such as something that you want to accomplish just follow your dreams and your goals like people are just sitting here giving their lives their dead-end jobs away I mean their dead-end jobs are eating up their lives going to work every single day from a, for about 8 to 12 hours like don't get me wrong like I respect that but at the same time like there's just so much more you can do in those hours instead of sitting at a desk freaking answering calls dealing with people's like shit like do what you can do like and if that's what you like to do then then eliminate everything I just said but if you're going to work every single day hating it make a change man like really you just gotta just do what you can do be the best that you can be never try to be somebody that you're not and live for you and remember where you came from you came from God I love you stay positive keep on skating and keep the good vibes flow we out